This week, I think I'm going to make a hot cut, mainly because I screwed up the project I was going to shoot. A friend of mine has been giving me some tools that he's been getting at yard sales, and this is just an old hammer that has no name on it. I'm sure it's pretty old. It's been used quite a bit, but it really has no use to me in the current state that it's in. So I was wanting to make a hot cut. So I'm going to cut a little bit of material off of this end. I'm going to leave this long just because I can hold it and maybe probably trim this off relatively short also in the end and maybe use this for another hammer because it's probably enough mass left in there to make a very small hammer. So I'm going to try this as a starting point because I don't have to drift the eye. That's a big thing. I don't have the material to make a drift. I don't have a hammer eye punch. So this is a good start for me to make a hot cut. start squeezing this down. I'm going to use my round die on my horn. So I have roughed out my chisel and it was a bear. One of the reasons it was so tough is because I don't have a good set of tongs to hold this. I was holding it through here with my three quarters and it was working somewhat. I welded that bar stock to the end. That never really panned out. So I am going to cut this. I'm just going to cut right back here somewhere. So I'll lose a little bit more material. Here's the first mass I lost. So once I do that, I'm going to finish this with a tiger paw on my uh, grinder and get this thing cleaned up. I usually don't do that very often, but I would like this one to be a little bit shiny. So I'm just going to clean all this surface up, make it look real nice before I go into the heat treat. I have one normalizing cycle done, I'll probably do another and then just heat treat just the tip of this.
So the final result, it was a lot of work to forge that down. I like how it turned out. It's going to function fantastic. Got my wedge put in. Now I could have been a little bit further up and this handle could have been just a fuzz straighter, but it will work for a hot cut. It was a good use of that hammer that was no good to me. It's nice and hard out on the end. I file tested it. This is just a nice tool to have around. Now, the chunks that come off of it, just for reference, are these right here. So I lost that much mass in the handle, or in the hammer itself. So it didn't really take that much material. It would have probably been better if I had blank stock to work with, but for repurposing a hammer, I think that that works really nice. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next week.